Hey! Perished Toad. It's Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. What a title. And actually, it might be fair to say, thus perished this game. This is the 3DS version of the latest entry in the Unlikely Duos series of interactive Olympics commercials. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Olympic-themed minigame compilations. And I guess you could say, after three games in five years, the Olympic flame has gotten a bit dim. Oh, no. No. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, uh, which, which we'll henceforth refer to as Mario and Sonic 2012, is the third title in Sega and Nintendo's half-hearted declaration of peace. Playing as characters from the Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog games, you compete in simplified versions of popular Olympic events. Or, as with this version, you push a few buttons. That's the most important thing to note about Mario and Sonic 2012 on the 3DS. This isn't the same game you'll get on consoles, which in theory could be a good thing. I mean, you typically want the handheld version of a console game to get special attention. That is, provided that attention is special in a good way, not a let's water this crap down way. Now, there are more than 50 events to compete in, although again, compete might be a strong word for some of them. The reason is that on the 3DS, the events have been really streamlined, I guess. Or to be less charitable, made less fun. Well, let's take this sprinting game, for example. All you do is hold down A until the race starts, and then you mash the A button for five seconds until the race ends. And then you win. Or how about boxing, you know, a really strategic, physically intense sport? Well, in Mario and Sonic 2012 on the 3DS, you just, you let go of a button after your opponent does. I mean, come on, there are video games, and then there's pushing buttons. Now, to be fair, as with any compilation, the quality varies, so as inane and pointless as some of them are, I'm looking at you, Volleyball, some of them are actually decent. Some of the shooting events require you to move your 3DS for aiming, which works nicely, but for the most part, I, there are some real stinkers on this thing. I mean, you, you actually have to yell at your system in the weightlifting games, and yelling at your system, that's, that's not good for anyone. Lift! 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 Do it! Do it! Do it now! Another problem is you can only choose between four predetermined characters for each event. So if, if you want to play the boxing game as Peach to punch Bowser in the face, well, tough shit, Bob, that's not allowed. Which, I don't know, it seems like veiled sexism to me. You know, you know Peach probably has a wicked jab, Sega. Mario and Sonic 2012 on the 3DS is more the same Mario and Sonic Olympic stuff, only not even that good. And few assessments are quite as damning. If you're interested in this game, get a console version. Like, any console version. Just avoid this one. Do it for your country! Oh, I'm right here! Live!